<laughs> he was so excited. Hi there, how are you? Hope you're good. We haven't had this in a while and I've, I honestly missed it so much. We have another one of the book box battles and we have Owl Crate versus Fairy Loot. I actually forgot for a second but this month Fairy Loot is celebrating their one year anniversary so we have an exclusive purple box. And how pretty is this? Logan said I should open Owl Crate first so Owl Crate it is. And then, ta -da. So the theme for this month was Sailors, Ships and Seas and we have this beautiful card with artwork on it. Duh. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not a huge fan of Pirate Story, but I already skipped on their last month, so I didn't want to skip on this one either. Plus, I really wanted to do the box battle thing again. <laughs> so I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this box. You never know. Okay, first thing that I see is this little adorable pouch, and it's from the Geeky Cauldron, which is probably a shop on Etsy, I assume. Oh my god, it's so adorable. You know I have a thing for necklaces. Look at this! And it also has a little anchor thingy. Oh, I like that. Points for that. Then we have some sort of commercially thing. Ooh, and then something from Boy Girl Party. I think it's a small notepad and I always find these useful. Oh no, no, This might sound really sad, but keep in mind that I'm at the age where I get really excited about getting a new hoover, if you've seen my Instagrams, and a blender and anything that's practical. So hands down, one, one of my favorite things to get in the book boxes are tea towels. And it seems like we have... Oh my god, this could be like... A proper towel. <laughs> Look at it! It's massive. It says a ship is always safe at shore, but that is not what it's built for. Beautiful, I like it. I always need multi towels. <laughs> there's an owl crate, there's also always a button that matches the theme. Like, yeah, crap, I forgot to mention there's also a washi tape because I just saw it in the worms. Um, it's nice, but I don't use washi tapes. So. <laughs> And it seems like that's everything, so now we come to the book, which is Daughter of the Pirate King. So there's gonna be knickknacks inside, so let's check those. Okay, so we have a temporary tattoo that I'm sure some people are into, but I'm not those people. <laughs> then we have a signed book plate, which I'm definitely gonna stick into the book. A dear reader letter, then we just go to the book. I've decided that I'm not gonna read the synopsis in these videos because sometimes synopsis literally has all the spoilers and then like what's the point of reading the book? I think that happened to me last month that I got a book in the box and I'm just like, no. If you want to, I will leave a Goodreads page down below for this book so you can read what it's about. I assume that it's about a daughter of the Pirate King. <laughs> but does it look naked? Ooh, it has like piratey symbol there. I'm so good with my pirate shotgun, like it's insane. I'm sort of excited, but not like over oh, the moon excited, but who knows, maybe it's gonna be my favorite book, so yeah. So the theme for April's Owl Crate is Head Over Heels and it's gonna include an item from Story Art. So that's it for Owl Crate. I must say that this was this is definitely not one of the strongest ones for my personal preference, but like I got a tea towel, which I'm super excited for. So let's go to the fairy loot. Oh, I'm so excited. This is quite heavy. Like it always gets me excited when it's heavy. Where are the scissors? Ta-da! Didn't even drop anything. What a pro. So pretty, okay. Okay, let's 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 calm down. So the theme was myths and monsters, which seems much more my sort of thing in general and the card is always so beautiful i'm not sure if this is daenerys but it lo sort of looks like but probably just because she's blonde and there's a dragon <laughs> oh my god i was so confused at first i thought it was like panty lighters <laughs> but obviously they're not those are unicorn fairy lights are you fucking kidding me <laughs> that's awesome oh my god <laughs> that's what they look like so there's pink unicorns and then rainbow. <laughs> Extremely tacky, but like sure as hell I'll use them somewhere because it's just on another level. <laughs> then we have another mirror that has a the fairy loot exclusive because it has fairy loot written on it. I actually really don't mind getting those because I just throw them in my various bags. So I always have one at hand, which is great. So I'm not too mad at it. I'm not the biggest fan of the art. And then we have geeky clean Nephilim candle, black cherry and lime sorry wax candle and it's a really unusual shape for a candle it definitely <laughs> oh sorry it's quite strong it definitely has the cherry thing going 
It's always nice to get candles. It used to be my absolute favorite thing to get, but since last year I started making my own candles, I am at like candle overload. <laughs> I'm still gonna give points for the candles because candles freaking rock. <laughs> this is way too cute. Those are the bookmarks, the magnetic kind, but look at them. One is like a dinosaur, the other one is maybe a phoenix. It's just so adorable. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. This looks like an egg, you know, like a dragon egg. I think it might be another towel or a scarf. I think it's a scarf. It is a scarf. Oh my god. I wear scarves literally 100% of the time I go outside. <laughs> this is amazing and I love it. Oh, I love it so much. And the gray one always goes with everything. I love it. And it's a great thing to include in the box because it's not like a t-shirt. It's gonna fit everyone, you know? Another ad thingy. Oh, so this is why it's so quite heavy because the book is quite like big this time. And I feel like if you're not new to my channel, you know how I feel about the pouches as in like I freaking love them. Oh my God. I've just separated it a tiny bit and the pages colored. I'm just so excited. This book is cute. Oh my god. Yes, it's Lainey Taylor, Strange the Dreamer. And I actually have this book on my to buy list. I've never read anything by this author and it just, oh my god, it's so beautiful. And it fits, oh, I get why they did it. Because it's so like fairy like the cover and everything. And oh my god. Oh, ow. <laughs> Got too excited. I'm so, so excited about this book. Look how beautiful it is. All it says on the back is, it was impossible, of course. When did that ever stop any dreamer from dreaming? Cheesy. Again, I'm not gonna read the synopsis because I don't want to spoil it to myself or anyone else. Like, I like to go into the books blind. If you don't, I'll link it down below so you can read more about it. But it's amazingly beautiful and I'm so excited. And it's signed. Fairy loot, you killed it. Okay, so I feel like the drum roll is not really necessary here, but let's do it either way. <laughs> definitely a winner because i do however feel it was maybe a little bit unfair seeing that this was the anniversary box so they definitely went full on for this box it's amazing there's literally not one item that i didn't like well maybe those lights but like <laughs> they're funny cute <laughs> so i'm fine with it i didn't particularly like the theme of our so that probably didn't help but i do love both of those boxes that's why they're the survivors of my box craze that went on previously last year and stuff <laughs> I missed this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more of this. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you very soon. Bye!